this is this requires really good queuing. Tough shot this. Oh, what a shot. Well, he couldn't have played that any better at all. Needs to stay still on this pink. He has. How's the cue ball? It's not bad. Black to get his first frame on the board and keep the match alive. He doesn't miss many blacks like that. Where's the cue ball? Is it okay? It looks okay. And Dennis Taylor <laughs> has won his first frame and he gives it the old Dennis Taylor waggle. Uh, that was worth waiting for. Well done to the 1985 champion of the world, Dennis Taylor. That put a smile on his face. Fantastic finish. That blue ball was shot of the match. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant it was. Really did. Couldn't have hit it any better, could he? Oh, that was fantastic. What a finish. Let's have a look at this blue. So difficult to get the cue ball moving back up the table. But how well did he strike that? Fantastic shot. Shot of the championship, Mike. <laughs> yeah, so far, absolutely. I agree. But Now, what has he got here? Red into the right centre is very difficult. Beautiful, One. absolutely beautiful. His, his single ball ketting, uh, potting Ken has been phenomenal, it really has. Well, he really stroked that in, lovely, didn't he? He's going to need a, another good shot on the black here. Yeah, well played. Nicely on the red, so three reds in the open, you would feel hey. shouldn't be too much of a problem. Just got to keep a good cue ball. Nine. Got to be careful of the pink here. You might play up into the pink to can into it. Yeah, he's tried that just to hold the white. Play Move it. a red out here, mm. possibly. 16. Well, I'm not quite sure he's got the right angle. Maybe just play for the black and then the red just below the black. 17. Well, maybe he had, had a better angle on that red, maybe. Oh, may play for the red. Oh, he's got a choice, the red below the black or the red on the right side cushion. Yeah, red on the right side cushion, needs to go with the cue ball. And he's going to have to get the, the rest out, maybe even the extended rest out. It makes this shot a bit more difficult. Yeah, it just makes a difference, that, that extra inch, doesn't it? And then once again, fishing tackle out. The long gear changed a lot over the years. Years ago, it, it almost used to be the size of a lamppost at the size of the table with a, a bin lid on the end of it. But now, as the game's moved on, the equipment's a lot better to to play with. Yeah, jabbed it, Dennis, a little bit quick. <laughs> <laughs> It's not pool, Dennis. You don't get two shots. <laughs> and it's still at 24. Yeah, a little sigh from Dennis Taylor. It was a good opportunity there. It just came up a little bit short on that red. And left it now for Michael Judge. 36 points in the lead. One. Red and black, 44. So he's going to need one more red after this black to leave his opponent needing a snooker yeah and he's been in this position several times so he's got to make this count he's got to finish it here and now because he has had some great opportunities he's done everything else right in this match his break building's been good positional play yeah, all right he's lost the white cue ball but he's looked good around the no. the black end of the table Yeah, I think he'd be pretty pleased overall, Michael Judge. This black will probably stop Dennis coming back to the table. 
Yeah, nice shot to bring the red into play. I think he'd be pleased, uh, Michael Judge. OK, a couple of opportunities he had. And could have made some big breaks, but that never materialised. But overall, I think 17. he's played pretty well. And as I said, it's been the fastest match of the tournament so far. Yeah, and he's only one second in front of Dennis on the average shot time. Michael's played at 25 seconds a shot, Dennis at 26. So them uh, vitamins from Life on Healthcare really, really helping us all, I think. Yeah, we might get the, not the handshake, but certainly the elbow touch. And Dennis Taylor says, well played to Michael George. It was a resounding performance from the UK seniors champion and he beats the 1985 world champion four frames to one well here's our stats uh, safety success 68 86 pot success 85 for michael george and 71 and i think it's been a good match isn't it mike yeah i've thoroughly enjoyed it it's been a free-flowing match um dennis to be honest for the practice he hasn't had he's he's, he's done himself proud there he's put some yeah. really good balls and just a cue ball okay so uh he can be not too far away rob is, looks like he's going to have a little chat with the 1985 champion Let's hear what he has to say. Match at the Crucible, if he hadn't nicked a frame on the black. D DT, at one stage, the comeback was on. Uh, you know, I really enjoyed that, Rob. I, I didn't think I was going to pot a ball, but because uh, I haven't played much at all. But uh, I really did. Once I got out there and playing against Michael, I knew I had to play well. And I had chances in a lot of the frames. But, yeah, to nick that one, the blue... Was uh, that was rolling back the years, the blue to get back on the pink, and then to eventually roll the black in to win one frame. Uh, but I really did enjoy it, and I was sitting in that seat there, and I remember the two gentlemen that were sitting there when I was playing all those years ago, 1985, and I can't believe how close they were. They were 12 inches from me, and I kept chatting to them throughout that final, and I just took the whole atmosphere into the Crucible Theatre again, and, and I remember Steve Davis's uh, fans being up there in the balcony. I just enjoyed every minute of that, and uh, I enjoyed playing against Michael. He's a smashing fella, and uh, there's no reason why he can't go on and lift the world seniors as, uh, uh, and go alongside the UK seniors. So um, it's just a great tournament, and everybody's loving it. The atmosphere back at the Crucible, it's just fantastic, and I enjoyed every single minute of that. Yeah, Jimmy's going to have to get himself involved in this match very quickly, and we're gonna, what we're going to have to need, Dennis, is a Jimmy White special. And I'm just going to show you a Jimmy White special now, and we've had a little chat from behind the scenes, and this is the shot of the championship. How about that, then? Well, how about One. Jimmy's shot there? He fluked a red into the right corner, but I was delighted to be chosen as shot of the championship with that blue. This was the fluke on the red, playing a safety shot. Yeah, Mike mentioned uh, I decided to give me the shot of the championship, uh, the blue down there. <laughs> so I thought, just have a go and see if you can roll back the years. Uh, I was pretty good at the old screw back and long shots in the head, eh? And uh, delighted to have got a uh, shot of the championship. Just must tell you, the panel that chose that shot was just a panel of one. It was me who decided that I... <laughs> no, no, it wasn't me, I'm only joking. <laughs> Six. Serious question. Can you remember last time you got a shot of the championship? Dennis? Didn't used to have them way back. It was something new that the BBC started. My best ever shot was in the first pop black I ever played in against Fred Davis. And I can't find it. Anywhere, 1975 it was. The frame was safe. The pink was on the balk line to the right of the green. The white was on the cushion, level with the black. And I managed to pot the pink and screw back 
and knock the black in. I wish I could have find that one. <laughs> I'll tell you what one sticks out in my mind. I think it was the long brown in the final frame of 1985. Oh. Long brown that you knocked for? in to finish on the blue. That was that was do or die, I guess. And what a shot that was. I'd, I'd have definitely given you that year, to be honest. Brilliant it was. Now, what Jimmy would give to knock this in. He's ignoring the safety. He's taking the pot on. That's a bit more like it. One. Terrific long pot from the whirlwind. 